In this video, I will show you how to set up a loan in your accounting system. We will use a vehicle purchase as an example. Hello, welcome to another Piggy's End training video. Remember to create your free account today. To add a new loan in your accounting system is easy. In Piggy's End, you can go to Accounting and Finance under Financial Transactions, select Loan. We need to select a loan account. The default account for loans is Notes Payable, but we want to have a separate account for our Vehicle Finance account. Also, we can only select the account where we will receive the loan amount, but we will not receive a loan amount as we are purchasing a vehicle. As this is not just a simple loan, there will be a couple of extra steps we need to take. We start by creating two special accounts in our chart of accounts. The first account is for our fixed asset, the vehicle. We create an account called Vehicles. It is an asset account, and for a subcategory, we select property, plant, and equipment. For our second account, we will create an account for the financing of the vehicle. We give the account the name of the bank that financed the vehicle for us, but you can choose any name that makes sense for you. It is a liability account as it is something we need to pay. For a subcategory, we select Notes Payable. Let's go back to the loan transaction under Financial Transactions and see if it will now work for us. We can now select the correct account for the loan but we can still only choose to receive the money for the loan. Also, we paid a deposit that we also need to add. As the vehicle purchase was a bit more complex than a simple loan, we will need to create a manual journal entry. That is luckily very easy in Piggy Zen. We select the date when we purchase the vehicle and we give the journal entry a description so that we will know what it was for. We now need to add all the accounts that will be affected by this transaction. The first account is an asset account, our bank account, that was used to pay the deposit. The second is also an asset account, our vehicle's account, where we will show the value of our fixed asset that we acquired. Lastly, we need to add the account for our vehicle finance. It is something we need to pay, so it will be under liabilities. In Piggy Zen, it is easy, you don't have to know if it is a debit or credit, you simply think about it. Our vehicle's account will increase in value because we acquired the asset, so we enter the amount of the vehicle. Our balance in our bank account was less after we paid the deposit, so we enter the negative amount we paid for the deposit. And lastly, we enter the amount we will owe to the bank in our financing account. We all struggled with when to debit and when to credit an account when we were busy studying accounting. But Piggy Zen makes it easy. You just need to think whether an account will increase or decrease. Piggy Zen will correctly translate that to a debit or a credit depending on the account. Piggy Zen will debit our vehicle's account and credit our bank account and our financing account. We can now see that Piggy Zen created the transactions for this journal entry for us. Let's have a look at our balance sheet. Under our assets, we now have a vehicle's account with the value of our new vehicle. Under liabilities, we have an account that shows how much we owe the bank that financed the vehicle. Let's say it is now a month later and it's time to pay our monthly installment. We go to Financial Transactions and select Pay Loan. We select the bank account we use to pay the installment and we select our vehicle finance account that we are paying the loan towards. We enter the full amount we paid. Let's have a look at what our balance sheet now shows. Wait, there is a problem. Our amount in our vehicle finance account is different from the statement we received from the bank that financed our vehicle. The reason for that is because they will add interest to the amount owed every month. 
All we need to do is to add the interest and any other admin fees that will be displayed on the statement from the bank. To do that is quick and easy. Under Financial Transactions, we select Add Interest to Loan. We select the account we want to add the interest to. We can use the default interest expense account and we enter the amount of interest that was added to our account as displayed in the statement from the bank. Because it is allocated to our interest expense account, it means that that part of the monthly installment is added as an expense and is tax deductible. If we now look at our balance sheet, we can see that our balance for our vehicle finance account is the same as on our statement from the bank. Our earnings were also affected as the interest was deducted as an expense. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe so that you won't miss any upcoming training videos.